I mean call for <clears throat> kittens. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do a video and just put some of the predictive programming <laughs> together so you could see the pattern of how they've been talking about owning nothing. I know a lot of you have already heard from the World Economic Forum about the Great Reset and being owning nothing in the future, but this is about the destruction of capitalism. And how do you do that? How do you destroy it and reset it? Well, you come up with a plan. Dot, dot, dot. And then you put a demic after it. Yeah. And what you do is you cause world chaos. Businesses close. People lose jobs. People go broke. Hmm? Then you get what you want, which is to transform the human, which you even hear out of the mouth of this guy Schwab. But you're going to hear the constant programming of how the world is going to be better for everyone if we own nothing. And in, as insane as it sounds, the lazy, spoiled young kids who sit at home and play video games for 20 hours a day on YouTube, those people want this. That's right. They don't know what this is going to lead to. If they want to see, they could take a look at Korea. But they think it's going to be great because then everybody's going to make the same amount of money. And of course, the people who are telling you this about resetting it, about everyone making the same thing, ending capitalism. Those guys are going to be, do you think that they're going to be in on it, living like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Now, as I show you this clip, just keep in mind, nobody elected any of these people. Nobody gave this guy any right. Now, I know nobody's elected anyway in this world, but the people, I mean, is this when we start talking about citizens' arrests? Now, this guy's probably hiding out in Switzerland somewhere, probably inside of the CERN machine. But just listen to how they want to destroy capitalism, how they use it, this mind control tactic to tell everyone it's going to make for a better world. Because remember, if you turn the TV off, there is no pan-dem going on. There's no one-niner. There's no systemic race problems going on. There's no inequality going on. None of it. Because you go around your town, you don't see any of it. The television has engineered all of this and told you that it's happening when it's not. So that they can do this. Imagine a world where the richer you are, the less you own. A world where a fancy car, a large house, and expensive clothes cease to be a status symbol and become a burden, while experiences replace belongings as what we cherish the most. Is it possible to own nothing but have everything? No embarrassing. In the past, if your house was on fire and everyone was safe, what was the one thing you would want to save? Photo albums, right? Today, most of us have our photos safe and sound in the cloud. Our music, books, movies, all turn from physical objects to digital services. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Every year, I own less of what I use. I don't know how it will play out in uh, November, but what we know is that we will end up with many more unemployed and uh, particularly also people in the grey economy, which are not counted for, uh, who lose their jobs. So we will see 
definitely a lot of anger um, already now, but probably increased by the end of the year, uh, because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. And uh, how to prepare? Uh, it means to take the necessary action to create a fairer world. Um, to see that uh, we provide everybody with uh, decent access to the health system, um, that we make sure that those people uh, who are really left behind, uh, and I'm not speaking only on national levels, I'm speaking also internationally, if I see now uh, the tragedy in some of the emerging countries like South Africa, like some countries in East Asia. I think it's all, uh, I, I don't have too many remedies. The, the remedies have to be discussed through dialogue by the stakeholders of our global system. But um, I just see the need for such a dialogue and I see the need for action. I see the need for a great reset. <laughs>
where they show like the upside down and it's so cold and hmm I wonder if these vessels uh, these you know humans are going to be vessels and hosts for these things I wonder how cold they really need it to be because clearly they're obsessed with it and the majority of people out there don't see it and don't care it's just the zombies that believe every single word that the TV tells them and then they try to act like they're good great citizens they're hypocrites they censor people they lie they do disgusting acts and you know the reason that we have padded rooms continue not to be used for these people who should be locked up and committed. But that's what's going on. So all you can do is keep an eye on what they're trying to do. And I don't understand how we have citizens arrests and people like this exist. Who elected this man, this, this demon, to decide that we need to reset our economy, destroy capitalism, own nothing? Huh? These people are going to buy into it. They're going to be like, yeah, it'd be great. Own nothing. Everyone can rent. We don't need to own things. Oh, we don't? So who's going to own everything? I mean, the government already owns all the land, but now you really can get in trouble because if you don't comply, goodbye. It's our house. You're renting it. Bye. I get it. They could still technically throw you off your land because it's their land. But, you know, the laws that they have are pretty, pretty tight as far as them doing that because they have to find reason to throw you off the land, such as saying, oh, well, we're going to make this into a public park or we're going to make this into a... Uh, you know, some type of uh, historic ground, those types of things. So they need to destroy the Constitution, obviously, and reset and restart everything, rewrite it. That's going to get rid of the bang-bangs. That's going to get rid of free speech. That's going to get rid of capitalism, right? And for those people out there who are like, well, I don't really believe in capitalism or any of this other stuff. I think it's stupid. The rich get richer. And, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, the whole point is so that these people can't control and rule all of rule over everyone and control all the wealth. They want to control all the wealth. That's the whole point. And then people are like, don't realize, they're like talking about taxing the rich. I mean, you know how much money these people already have hoarded? What are they going to do? Do they think they're going to give up everything that they have? Their cars, their bunker homes, you know? What are they just going to hide it all underground like they do anyway? I mean, it's an utter joke what we're allowing them to do. And if people don't realize... These video clips are from four, five, six, seven years ago at the World Economic Forum. This isn't just being talked about now because of what's happening. This was them telling you what's coming and what they're going to do. Well, how else would you get it done unless you had something that the whole world would be affected by? There wasn't going to be a war, a war between every country in the world. They can't plan that. So they come up with bio, right? Whether you believe it's real or not, it doesn't matter. It's real on the mind. They come up with that, and then every country, oh, this is setting short, shutting this down, shutting that down, shutting this down, shutting that down. Quarantining people, ruining lives, causing mass depression, stuff they don't actually report on is the depression rate, and the unfortunately what people have done to themselves because of this, being confined to their homes and everything else, that they feel the stress of money, the stress of work, because they're getting their jobs taken away. They don't report on that. No, of course not. And the people out there don't go, why don't they report on that? No, they say, the story they need to tell you is about somebody who just went bye-bye and said his last wishes were for you to get the magic potion because he cared so much about you. Huh? Yeah, that, my last words would be me holding up the middle finger to, uh, <laughs> to Big Brother. I mean, it's an utter... Uh, it's an, uh, the, the state of our world is, is utterly impossible to fathom right now but it's only going to get worse because these people are clamoring for a great reset the celebrities uh, are talking about the great reset not by my mentioning world economic forum they're saying oh this is a great opportunity for us to reset we can end systemic racism i mean what in the world where are people seeing this going on you know whatever your skin color is where do you see it doesn't mean that there aren't idiots that are race of course there are but where are you seeing this this massive amount you're going into jobs and they're saying i'm not going to hire you because you're black i mean no. Oh, I'm not going to hire you because you're a woman. I'm going to pay you less wages. They make all of this up. They pump it through the TV, and everybody thinks that's the reality of it. Yet if they turn the TV off, they wouldn't even know that there was an outbreak occurring. Because they might have to go to their own hospital for something like stitches and see how empty it is. Utter joke. This is how the Great Reset's coming because of what they created here, and it's coming. This is going to have to do with technology being inside your body, which he openly talks about. I mean, changing humans. Does anyone, are we, are we missing the point there? He's not talking about changing your perspective. He's talking about changing humans. And people are like, yeah, that's not really what he means. Okay, and we're going to end capitalism, and you're going to own nothing, and we're going to own all of it, and you're going to like.
like it. And people are like, okay, can you put some nice music behind it while you play the... Oh, okay, it sounds like it's going to be really cool and nice. The environment, yay. Oh, don't worry about me. Don't worry about my family. We'll let these people enslave us. Whew, unbelievable. Anyway, folks, I want to put that together because there's just so many clips. And as you know, TED Talk is one of those things they always use for propaganda. You know, every single person at TED, I mean, those get nothing but thumbs downs. Where they pick these people, no one knows. These are people that no one's ever heard of showing up and telling you what's coming and why you're going to like it. Right? So you have TED Talk, the Economic Forum, all of them telling you how they're, they're taking your world, which there's no real problems in, and they're destroying it so that they can mix you with technology and then summon this trash that they're planning on summoning because don't forget about the alien deception. I mean the demon deception because it's coming with this. In a package deal. So be ready. I'll be here doing my best to sound the trumpets. Uh, not sound the trumpets. Sound the alarms. Hopefully the trumpets sound sooner than later. But we have a lot that we have to endure. So again, everybody, uh, you know, I don't have a new backup channel yet. So I appreciate everybody who's over here. Please make sure you join the website if you haven't. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, they, they, they try all they want. It's just... You know, the only issue with it is it's a headache for you guys to have to keep subbing the channels. And, you know, I know people are like, well, I'm already subbed to a bunch call. And then they don't know that, you know, a bunch of them got taken down for no reason. And the people are like, you got taken down for a reason. There's no content on it, actually. And there's actually no connection with those channels in my name. So, you know, it's really, you know, YouTube, you appeal it. No one looks. No one listens. It just sits there in an appeal for three years. And then maybe it'll come back. But the whole thing is a joke. The system's broken. The government's, you know, destroying our world as we speak, and so are these people who are trying to destroy our free speech. So I thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of you greatly. God bless you and your families.